Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. For this day's video, the beer is courtesy of Brian. Thanks so much, Brian. I really appreciate it. My first beer from this brewery, Misfit Outpost. This is a hazy pale ale coming at 5%. Uh, it is a month and a half at time of review, and which I'm not worried about at all with a pale ale or well, any hoppy beer. I know, I know people, the day it's canned or it's not good. Uh, uh, Zymotic? Is the name? Sure. Sure, I don't know. I'm not good at pronouncing things. If you come to my channel for the beer pronunciations, not good. Find a better channel. So I don't know what hopper hops are in it. You know, I typically try to go into this stuff blind. Um, but I will look up afterwards and post in the description box below if I find any info. Okay, so if you're interested, you know where to go. Um... More orange than yellow. Um, it's, you know, beyond just unfiltered looking, but it's certainly not turbid or anything. That head is barely off-white. Uh, pretty compact bubbles, a little sudsy on top. It's a beautiful looking beer. Let's get into aroma. You get some, like, just generic beeriness to it. I get some nice citrus, um, mostly orange. A little bit of, like, stone fruits. Some dank. There's something else familiar. It's like, uh, cause there's dank and then there's something tied to it. Well, you know, I've heard people say this, I don't remember what hop or hops, but like a little bit of this diesel-y kind of a note. And this has that. Not particularly ripe peach, more like the skins. Smells good. Let's get into the glass. Cheers. Thanks again, Brian. Hope you're doing well. This is good. Yeah, I mean, you could, you know, 5% ABV. It's relative, relatively crisp. You know, not a, lot, not a lot of body, like, slowing you down, you know? So, like, you could crush a four-pack of these pretty easy, especially, like, on a hot day outside. It's, it's like, always my go-to thought process for beers like this. But, like, you can also certainly sip and contemplate. Uh, being a little bit lower ABV and a pale ale, I get a decent amount of the malt coming forward. Uh, you know, grainy, uh, like Cheerios more than bread or saltine crackers or anything. Um, you do get some brightness with citrus. It's mostly orange for me. Um, the um, unripe peach, a uh, little bit, you know, tropical as well, but not, not too tropical. A little pop of lemon, like lemon grass. A couple other familiar flavors. Like that peach skin thing. I can't think of any other fruit, but it, it's it's kind of like the skin of it. Like when you're first biting before like the explosion of like the juice, uh, um, like meaty part of fruit. You get the skin that you're biting into. It's not apple. It's not pear. I can tell you some stuff. It's not. Maybe it's more like pitted fruit, like um, you know, apricot or something. Uh, but it's not super apricoty either. Uh, but yeah, this is nice. Like I said, I mean, it's very crushable. A little bit more going on, so you, you could contemplate it, like I'm doing on this review. But yeah, this is nice. Good first offering um, from uh, uh, Mis Misfit Outpost. I, I just keep wanting to say Misfit because of the band, the Misfits. Uh, but anyway. Thanks again, Brian. I really appreciate it. If you guys had this beer before, anything else from this brewery, uh, had a pale ale lately, anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.